Hello everyone and welcome back to the match on WWE 2K24. This one is for the SWE Hardcore Championship and fresh off of a victory yesterday or the day before against Abby the Witch. We have got Rosemary going one-on-one -on -one against the current SWE Hardcore Women's Champion, Asuka. Who just gets a massive boot right in the face. So yeah, this is for the Women's Hardcore Champion. This is a obviously a no disqualification match. Full scan anywhere and weapons are not only allowed, they are encouraged. And this is my own one. I made my own Hardcore match just so I could change the weapons under the ring. I've got rid of the annoying ones like... I mean, don't get me wrong, in real life, the table and the ladder are great. Um, but I got rid of the annoying ones that uh, in the game don't really work like the table and ladder. And replaced them with stuff like the new light tube. Uh, the barbed wire baseball bat, which is just coming into the ring now as well. Uh, Rosemary able to break that one free. So remember, Rosemary had a fantastic match a couple of days ago against Abby the Witch, uh, also known as Nikki Cross. We don't know that yet, though. As there is the... Oh, look at that. The glass light tube right across the back of Asuka. Uh, but now Asuka working over... Rosemary mounts now looking for the... Oh, what's going to go ground and pound? No, goes in for the arm bar instead. Not getting paid by the hour, especially in these hardcore matches. You don't want the matches to go that long because they're not going to be pretty. Rosemary now sending Asuka crashing into the barricade. Referee counted a count. They're not quite sure who it was. I think Rosemary was counting Asuka there. Rosemary now misses the chop. She was nowhere near. I don't know what she was planning there. Absolutely nowhere near. Asuka now just stamping on the arm and the hand of Rosemary. That's very painful as well. And again, just stamping away at the hand. And this match has uh, not been as technical as I expected. I mean, it was a hardcore match, but Asuka we know is a very good technical wrestler. And I would expect her to be a lot more technical than what is currently being seen. As she just rockets Rosemary across the back with a kendo stick. Now rolling in for the pin for the one, two, only a two count. Asuka now jump into the outside looking for, no, I thought she might be looking for another weapon, but as she gets back in the ring, she just about knocks the kendo stick out of Rosemary's hand. Remember this one is for the Hardcore Championship. Asuka now has a hold of the kendo stick as well, but Rosemary is on the outside still. Asuka's going to bring that kendo stick to the outside to join her, but she's taken too long, and she gets dinged. Asuka dropped face first. Big chops across the chest. And then back into the ring is Asuka... Rosemary once again with a kendo stick right across the spine. Asuka now sending Rosemary. Oh, I thought she set it up against the ropes. Instead, she goes all the way to the bottom. And now gets rained down with the kicks, but Asuka re entering the ring. I don't know why they keep going back in the ring to grab those weapons. There's plenty of weapons around and under the ring. Oh, but that's. Baseball bat with barbed wire goes right into the knee. So painful. Rosemary fighting back now with the elbows right into the gut of Asuka. Rosemary sending Asuka right into the ring steps now. Pain. Pain. Just pain in general. I meant to say painful, it just came out as pain. Rosemary now has that barbed wire bat again. 
And right between the eyes of Asuka. Sorry, I'm choking on something here. I don't know what it is. There's the pin by Rosemary. Asuka's just been twatted between the eyes of a baseball bat covered in barbed wire. It wasn't quite enough. Asuka now with the elbows into the chest of Rosemary. Straight into the ring steps. And look at Asuka now just raining down the strikes with a baseball bat, but Rosemary gets it back. Look at that right across the spine, my god. These two women are kicking the living crap out of each other. There's the pin. It's only a one count. My word, how? Rosemary once again with a bat. Oh my god. Asuka's just a sitting duck here. She's getting constantly hit over and over and over again with that baseball bat. Rosemary now with the leg hooked and slamming the ankle into the mat. And it's a very back and forth match this one. No real person has taken control at this point in time. That's mainly because there's no real people in the match. But they've not taken any control so far. It has really been back and forth, back and forth. And there is what looks to be... A, uh, yeah, it was. It was a like a spider, almost like a black widow. Referee was in the way. It was difficult. Rosemary sending Asuka straight into the ring steps. Nice jawbreaker by Asuka. Who gets dropped. Asuka now tripping over Rosemary in for the pin. Surely a trip's not going to win this match. It was bloody close though. It was a two count. Now given that, it was really close. Asuka now walks it around the outside of the ring, looking underneath, finds us of a steel chair. Decides to test it against the ground first before swinging it towards Rosemary, but Rosemary able to avoid a big German suplex. Pin attempt now after the German on the outside. Will that be? No, it's only a one. Asuka completely no-selling this. As Rosemary still working over the knee of Asuka now has the steel chair. Right across the spine and again across the back of the legs. And Asuka out of nowhere just spitting the mist in the face. Wow, Asuka, after being violently assaulted by the chair out of nowhere, just spits the acidic mist into the face. Asuka now stamping away on the arm. And now Asuka under the ring looking for... Well, if there's one thing that's going to put a stop to Rosemary, it might be the sign. But Rosemary steals it and right between the eyes of Asuka again. Now throwing it at her. As Asuka now lays out Rosemary, so I'll send a message at the same time. I do apologise. So my parents are going on holiday. They just text me to say they were on the plane ready to go. Been delayed by an hour for some reason that no one can explain. 
Rosemary now is grounded as Asuka throws the stop sign, rolls in for the pin. Still not enough. Asuka now brings Rosemary back up to the standing base and rolls her through in with the submission. And surely that's going to be enough. Rosemary has no hands left to tap, but she does audibly tell the referee that she is gone. And Asuka gets her first win of the year. Actually, I just realized she's had two matches so far this year, both losses. So this is her first match of the year when it finally matters and she's actually defending her championship. And Rosemary, who was up to 18th with that loss, is going to move down um, from a plus five to a plus four. So there we go, victory then for your SWE Women's Hardcore Champion, Asuka. She retains, and maybe we'll see her again in the next couple of weeks to defend as part of Forbidden Door. I'm going to love you leave you. We've got big more matches, big more matches today. Uh, I obviously, as I've said recently, I massively overbooked everything, so we've got three more matches today. Next up, you'll see Kato Kiyomiya making his SWE debut. The current Pro Wrestling Noah World Heavyweight Champion will be taking on Kushida from Impact. Later on, we will have a massive triple threat as Mike Bailey, representing Impact, takes on Kenta, also known as Hideo Itami, of course, of Pro Wrestling Noah, and Shinsuke Nakamura of WWE in a triple threat match. And our main event of the day will be our women's champion, Julia, defending against Victoria, the winner of the uh, gauntlet match we had last week. Right, love you, leave you, good night, God bless, I'll be the same. See you all later, bye-bye.